2,000 yard rusher Noah Thompson and his Underwood Rockets here at the Metrodome. They are all set to play against Landon Jacobson, 1,700 yard rusher. He represents the Grand Meadow Superlarks in game one of seven here on our Prep Bowl coverage on 45 TV here at Prep Bowl 32. It's the nine man championship. Grand Meadow and Underwood, neither team has ever won a state championship. So someone's going to form a memory that will live forever in their hometown's lore. Two, two great running backs here. You got a junior in Noah Thompson, you know, five foot seven, 155 pounds for Underwood. He's a tough guy to find behind the big offensive line. And then for Grand Meadow, it's going to be Landon Jacobson. And prep bowl 32 underway. The kickoff from Richardson fielded by Adam Creek for Underwood and Creek is knocked out of bounds around the 25 yard line. So welcome to the final prep bowl at Mall of America Field Metrodome. Eric Nelson, Justin Kazemius with you. All right, Adam Creek is the quarterback for the Rockets. And there's the Rocket man, Noah Thompson, leading rusher in the state. He gets 11 on his first carry, and that is trademark Noah Thompson. And we saw this last week. This is a team that just loves to ground and pound and keep the football on the ground and go deep with the football. Super Larks with the purple jerseys, purple pants, white numbers. Thompson, the pitch. Thompson barreling forward to about the 44-yard line. Going to be just shy of the first down. First offensive possession of the day from the 20. And the handoff goes to Jacobson. And Jacobson is stood up. Lucky to get a yard there. Noah Thompson, who's also an excellent defensive player, on the stop. They've got their power package in the I formation. It is Jacobson running left. The cutback, the stiff arm, the first down. Across the 35 to the 36. Jacobson with the carry, Creek the tackle, but they will move the chains. And Creek may be a touchdown saving tackle. You can see Jacobson, he's got some of that top end speed. So once he can go north and south, he's starting to get those legs moving. Super Larks with the ball in this scoreless game. Play action, our first pass of the morning. And it's a completion. And look at that, a big game. The catch made by Ben Field. It's out across midfield, down to about the 47. So Grand Meadow on the move. And this is what I love about this offense, is it's got so much balance. It's so much to defend. You know, great play call there on first and 10. You start to see a little early momentum going towards Grand Meadow. And why not take a chance to put that ball up and start to stretch the field? Yeah, they have some space eaters, the Rockets do. Out of the gun now, Blythe is the play action from the logo. In trouble. Still in trouble, now going to get it away. There's Jacobson. Jacobson across the 40, Jacobson down to the 35, and he's got the first down, a pickup of 10. How about that? Blythus eludes trouble, Justin, and the throwback and the catch in the first down run. Looks a little bit like a Fran Tarkington <laughs> from back in the day, but does a great job keeping his eyes downfield. Pressure comes, gets outside the pocket, but again, keeps the play alive with his feet. Looks across the field and finds his buddy Landon Jacobson and picks up the first down. That was Matt Beagler who almost had the sack for Underwood. First and 10. Jacobson bouncing outside to the right. Jacobson powering his way down inside the 25 to about the 21. That'll be a gain of 15 and Grand Meadow with some early mojo. We can just see it right down into your living room. He's coming right at you. He's a big body back, five foot 10, 195 pounds. Fourth and two for the Superlarks in a scoreless game in the first quarter. Prep Bowl 32 nine-man championship game. The pitch to Jacobson, the cutback. Close to the first down, but a flag flies, so we'll have to sort this out. Second and eight. Thompson pounded no gain and that was Jacobson who came up and made the play fourth the nine Creek the low snap and it's blocked it's blocked and Grand Meadow is going to be in just outside the red zone at the 22 well you could see the low snap third and goal from the five Olsen wide left out of the eye Blyfus gonna keep it. Blyfus. Summer. 
somersaults into the end zone. Touchdown, Superlarks. Trenton Blythus goes airborne for his 19th rushing touchdown of the season, and that one was a beauty. And Underwood does a pretty good job here, stretching him into the field. The sideline's your defender, but quarterback makes a great play, leaves his feet, dives into the end zone. That's the type of effort you need if you're gonna win a state championship. And Jacobson with a kick out block. Running effort into the end zone. Here's the extra point try by Wyatt Richardson. It is good. And to have the productivity that he's had, it's not just on him, but this offensive line, they've done a great job. Creek on the quarterback option, and you talk about reading a play. An outstanding job there by Blake Olson as he stayed home. They're going to force you to do something you haven't done before because the competition at this level is so strong. Good punt by Creek, fielded by Jacobson. And watch out, Landon across midfield. And Landon finally brought down by Adam Creek at the 42. So the Superlarks again with excellent field position. And they need to step up their play to slow down this Grand Meadow offense. Third and nine, they fake the reverse. Here goes Jacobson, look at Jacobson, doling out the punishment. Inside the 15, knocked out of bounds. Now they're going to say at the 16, he stepped out. Again, the yellow line is the out-of-bounds marker in nine-man football. But look at Landon Jacobson running angry. Well, he just passed the punch right there. I mean, he, he, you know, he's not looking to step outside and get out of bounds. He lowers that shoulder. Third and eight from the 15, out of the eye for Grand Meadow. Blythus out of play action to the end zone. Wide open, but he threw it just behind the intended receiver, Blake Olson. If, he, if he's pinpoint there, Justin, that's a touchdown. Yeah, they have some beef up front. Creek going to air it out, a home run throw. And it is caught for a first down and then some outstanding grab for Underwood. Their longest pass play of the day easily. Let's take another look at it as Creek was very accurate. Well, it's an easy read for him because it's a one-man route. We want one guy to go out in this pass play. Everyone else stay in and block. And he takes it deep, and the receiver does a great job in going up. So with 50 seconds to go in the first half, the Rockets have it, and it's a bad exchange. Ball is on the carpet. Who's got it? Grand Meadow has it. Wow, a huge turnover. So can the Superlocks take advantage? The flea flicker, and it is caught. Touchdown, Blake Olson, 36 yards. The pitch back to Blythus, and Olson was running by himself down the far sideline. And Grand Meadow, like lightning, strikes for a quick score. Perfect spot for only the receiver to get it because you got Creek coming over, but he puts the ball in the perfect trajectory. And look how excited these guys are. They've been here before. And as you see it here one more time, and he goes up top to Olsen. 15 touchdown passes now for Blyfus. Four TD catches for Olsen. Out of the hold of Olsen, who just caught the TD pass. And that kick is true. No, he missed it. Prep goal 32. Grand Meadow up 13-0. There's Adam Creek. He and his Rocket teammates are going to have to figure out a way to put some points on the board because the guy's in purple right now, Justin, up by 13. Out of the eye formation, Blyfus gives it to Jacobson one more time, and why not? Legs churning, body moving north and south, and Landon Jacobson has a first down. We're just going to come right at you. We're going to pound the football right at you, play in and play out. Look at Landon Jacobson. He's clapping his hands. He wants the football. This time, Blyfus wants to throw. Can't find anybody. Now he does, and he's got a man wide open. And that pass caught by Stasekul, and Stasekul gets it down inside the 30 to around the 27. Actually, second down after that five-yard carry. Here's the pitch to Jacobson. Can he get outside? Yes, he does. 
down to the six yard line finally dragged down by Dylan Collins who saved the touchdown with that rodeo type tackle and this might be the most impressive run of the day because once he reads that block you know Jacobson cuts inside then bounces it quickly back outside and the speed that he has and it, he, again smart kid can read the blocks look at that great crack back block on the outside linebacker Jacobson touchdown Grand Meadow Landon Jacobson with his 29th touchdown of the season and he gained 97 yards in this game so far. Well, there's great penetration right there. Montgomery blitzes, but then Jacobson just kind of sits back and sees when that hole develops and then just gets to pass the goal line. Coaches are fired up. They should be. And Richardson's kick is good. <laughs> and boy, that little pitch look there goes nowhere as Adam Creek is buried. There's number five in white on that purple jersey. Play action. Blyfus in trouble. Down goes Trenton Blyfus. Bag him up. The sack there by double nickels Matt Beagler. Grand Meadow going for the kill shot. Up by 20. Yeah, the Rockets have been unable to get off the launching pad today. Here's Creek to the air, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Olsen. And now Olsen's still on his feet with the reversal, and he gets it down to the seven. Blake Olsen with the interception, and that might be a dagger. That, for the most part, has just dominated this game and really dominated this third quarter. Quarterback right there, Adam Creek, just trying to make a play, get something going, but just enough pressure to force a quick throw. And I don't know if there was a receiver mix up, but no one really in any vicinity of that pass. All right, thanks, Tori. Good nugget down there on the floor of the dome. Here's Blyfus on the crossing route. That's caught for a first down and then some reception made by Connor Hartson. To find some rhythm on offense this series. They need an explosion play, and it won't happen there as Collins is buried. A purple avalanche led by, of course, Landon Jacobson. That's going to be a loss. Second and 10 from the 44 for Grand Meadow. Here's Jacobson. And watch out. He stumbles across the 45 to the 44. That'll be a pickup of 12 as Landon Jacobson has run for 112 yards and a touchdown today. Yeah, he just takes the pitch there and reads the blocks. And I mean, so many times today we've seen this potentially devastating 50 or 60 yard touchdown just stopped by a shoestring tackle. From the 33 of Underwood. And Blyfus in trouble. Blyfus escaping trouble. Blyfus still on his feet. Look at Trenton Blyfus. He is gone. 33 yards like Houdini. How did he get out of that, Justin? Touchdown, Grand Meadow. We've seen big plays in prep bowl. We've been inside this dome for 30 plus years, but I don't know if we've seen as many plays as that in terms of just an athlete keeping play alive and making the big play. Look at this right here. They got him bottled up. Trent Blyfus keeps his feet moving. He's trying to stay alive. And then downfield has enough speed to break it to the edge and find the goal line. What a play. Blyfus, his second touchdown run of the day. He's got 20 on the season. And now the fake on the extra point, and Blake Olson to the pylon. He's in. How about that? And the Grand Meadow Superlarks get the deuce. Scores now 28-0, and there's Trenton Blyfus and Blake Olson. Well, that touchdown's so good. We need to look at it one more time, Justin. I mean, talk about making the big play. They got him wrapped up there. Breaks one tackle right there. Gets the line of scrimmage. Breaks another tackle right there. Guys doing everything that they can do to keep their quarterback moving downfield. Defense can make a stop. 
And we said this before, we've seen a lot of big plays in the prep bowl. I don't know if we've seen a better play made by a quarterback. Just keeps his feet alive. Looks like a running back and from the Rocket 45, and they have no choice but to go for it, down by four touchdowns. And Collins gets the first down, and then some deep into Grand Meadow territory. That'll be a gain of 21 for Dylan Collins. Well, he came in banged up. I mean, they, they say all year they've been patching him together. Might be having a little bit of an injury. Creek down the middle, and it's caught. And this one's going to go for a touchdown. On the receiving end, Leroy Haugi, a 32-yard pitch and catch. Creek to Haugi, and the Rockets are on the board. How about seeing a number 76 rumbling down the field, <laughs> getting past the goal line? Well, you gotta love that. Gotta Leroy. love that. He comes up big, but let's you know, let's let's give Underwood credit here. You gotta feel good. You know, you don't want to go home shut out. Makes a great play right there. Comes across and runs just a great crossing pattern. Well, they try some shenanigans on the extra point, but Grand Meadow not fooled as Creek shoveled it forward for Adam Creek. Now four touchdown throws on the season. Here it is one more time. Haugi, the reception and the yak. And it's 28-6 here on Channel 45. The Grand Meadow Superlokes are your class nine-man champions for 2013 here at Prep Bowl 32. Where it's not just a football team that's playing, it's a community that's out there playing for a state championship. Yeah, you're exactly right. And I'm looking forward to games in uh, in the deep freeze at TCF Bank Stadium next season or whatever the temp might be. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Great quarterback for you. What has he meant to the program? I can't even tell you. He's been a three-year starter for us. I think in the, the years that he's been our quarterback, we're like 33 and 7 or something like that. I mean, he's, he's the best all-around quarterback I've ever coached in almost 30 years of coaching. You did a great job defensively in this football game from the outset. What were the big keys in that and being able to control that big offensive and defensive line of Underwood? Just getting a lot of people to the ball in a hurry. We're undersized, but we're really athletic and really quick, and we, we really stressed playing team defense, and, and they really did that. Coach Sloan, it's your 150th win of your career. Could it come of a better time? I can't, I can't imagine where it could have been any better. All right, congratulations on the state championship. Thanks a lot. All right, that's head coach Gary Sloan there, Chris. Very happy man, number 150th, and it ends with a state title. For Justin Kinzemius, I'm Eric Nelson saying so long. Grand Meadow is your class nine-man champion. Prep Bowl 32, and the Friday football feast has just begun. Don't go away. Much more football coming up on Channel 45.